In this video, you will learn 11 plus non-verbal reasoning, type 11, figure rotation. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Now let's have a look at this example. And in this example, we have a question figure. And in this question figure, we have three shapes. We have a pentagon on the outside. Inside this pentagon, we have a square. And inside this square, we have an O shape. So these are the three shapes we have. And if you notice, a side of the square and a side of the pentagon, they're both parallel to each other. And also, on both of these parallel sides, you have an O shape. So what this means is that in any of the options that one side of the square and one side of the pentagon are not parallel and there is not an O shape on the parallel side, then we cross the option off. So let's have a look at A. In A, you could see that none of the sides in the square are parallel to the pentagon, so therefore we can cross off A. So let's move to B. In terms of B, if you notice, we have a square and a pentagon, they're both parallel to each other, and we have the O shape on the parallel sides. So that's also fine, B is fine, and we can move into C. In C, it's the same case, the square and the pentagon, both are parallel sides, that's fine. And also in this parallel side, you have an O shape, C is also fine, and you can move on to D. In D, it's the same case once again, you have two parallel sides and you have an O shape on the parallel sides. D is also fine, so let's move on to E. In E, one side of the square and one side of the pentagon, they're both parallel to each other, but you do not have an O shape next to the parallel sides. Instead, you have an O shape away from the parallel sides. Because you have an O shape away from the parallel sides and not next to the parallel sides, you can go ahead and cross off E. So out of the five options we started with, we managed to cross off A and E. So we're now left with B, C and D. So once we have managed to get rid of the options with obvious errors, we would then have to rotate each of the remaining options in our head to find the answer. So let's start with B. And if you rotate B, you can see that B is very similar and it's exactly the same as the question figure, but let's check the others just to be sure that B is right. So let's leave B for now and let's move to C. And let's rotate C. And when you rotate C, you could see that C is a mirror image of the question figure. Because if you notice, in C, the O shape is on the bottom left of the square, but over in the question figure, it's on the bottom right of the square. So therefore, C is not right, and you can cross off C. And let's move to D. And in D, if you rotate it once again, you could see that D is also a mirror image. Because in D, the O shape is on the bottom left of the square, and the question figure is actually on the bottom right. So therefore, you can also cross off D. So that means we're left with B, so our answer to this question will be B. Now to learn more non-verbal reasoning types, click the video on the right, and to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe to my channel, I'll see you next time.